Our camera crews went out to Mommy Bay State Park tonight to see if anyone was out catching a glimpse, and this is what our group caught. A love of color and astronomy, and uh, yeah, this is our second or third time out here at Mommy Bay. I think this, in my opinion, is the best viewing spot. Getting away from all the city lights out there, meteorologist John Birchfield joins us now once again to kind of break down exactly how and I guess if we can catch another glimpse tonight. Yeah, I know our photojournalist Jake, who was out at Mommy Bay State Park, he said it was very fleeting. You know, one minute it was vibrant. You can see those pillars of light vertically, and then the next moment, uh, not so visible. So yesterday, I feel like set our expectations very, very high. Maybe not quite as vibrant this evening, but still, to see the northern lights two consecutive nights is a rare occurrence across southern Michigan and northwest Ohio. Many viewers sending in photos this evening. Sarah in Hudson, Michigan, capturing those hues of pink, purple, and green. Also getting in some nice photos in the Lindsay area. Kaylin captured that one. And last but not least, another gorgeous photo near Defiance. Steph Helmke captured that one with some of those vertical light pillars that are very rare and certainly very beautiful to see in the night sky. Now the KP index, that's a measure of how far south that viewing line extends, goes on a scale of zero to nine. Our current KP index is a seven. It was originally projected to be around an eight, so just a little bit less than originally forecast. Now that viewing line is expected to extend near the Ohio River. However, there is a caveat to that. It's likely only visible through the lens of your camera or your phone. So if you can't see it with your naked eye, try taking the phone out there and see if you can view it a little bit better through the screen. Now those variety of colors, they come from charged electric particles that interact with various molecules in the atmosphere. So when you see purple and blue, those particles are interacting with nitrogen. And when you see red and green, those particles are interacting with oxygen. So it all comes down to exactly what molecules in the atmosphere those electrons are striking and you tend to see the greens and the purples a little more commonplace although the red and the blue some of the rarest colors with the aurora if you have any photos to share you can submit those on the free WTOL 11 weather app or email them to the WTOL 11 weather team